at 10 tonight, the Hinton Community School Board voted to accept the resignation of the high school boys wrestling coach, Casey Crawford. KTV's Connor Trett was at tonight's meeting. He joined us live in studio with a breakdown of these developing details. Connor, what can you tell us? Well, Jessica Crawford has stepped down after serving 15 years as Hinton's wrestling coach. This comes a little more than a month after accusations of an alleged assault that took place in Coralville during the boys state duels tournament. Tonight, the board was tasked with approving the resignation following those events. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries for nothing. Take this opportunity to thank Mr. Crawford for his service to the district. Crawford is now the third administrator to resign from Hinton this month. He follows the school's 7th to 12th grade principal Phil Goostowers and their 4th to 6th grade principal and athletic director Brian DeYoung. Crawford also mentioned in his letter that he plans to remain at Hinton as a teacher. Parents, at Hinton community, parents and Hinton community members were given the chance to speak at the meeting ahead of the resignation approval. One parent asking for changes to the district's overnight trip policies, a second who says her son has been mistreated, and another community member who said that his, he took a punch to his pride when the events came to light. You can't go anywhere in the city with hidden gear on without somebody asking you what happened up there. And I think there's three of you at that table right now that were born and raised here and you know that this debacle was not finished with that resignation tonight. In Crawford's three-paragraph resignation, the second was redacted prior to it being made public. Tonight, the contents of the redacted paragraph were not disclosed. I spoke with Hinton Superintendent Ken Slater after the meeting about that section in Crawford's resignation. There's some confidential information in, in letters, and it, you know, a, when an employee requests that information be uh, redacted, you know, we'll, we'll follow uh, that so uh, the public sees what the, what the board saw. I did ask Superintendent Slater if the board was able to see the unredacted version, and he replied, no comment. Slater did also say that Hinton has a great tradition and strong presence in Northwest Iowa, and he says that the amount of applicants they've seen for their new vacancy shows that Hinton is still a school where people want to be and be a part of.